you can see a lot more preparations for war in Lviv that weren't evident two weeks ago. I'm walking beside a beautiful old church in the downtown old area of the city. And I'll just turn the camera so you can actually see what's been going on. There you can see some of the statues at this church have been covered up with fabric uh, as a protection against falling bombs. I don't think that's going to do much good actually against um, Russian bombardment. I noticed yesterday that uh, city crews were putting concrete barriers in front of some key public buildings uh, with sandbags piled high in front. So it does show that they're beginning to get much more worried that the bombing is going to come in this direction. Uh, it's an old European city, quite beautiful. It wasn't bombed in the Second World War, so it's pretty much intact. It's, um, it's UNESCO protected. A lot of people out this morning. That's a regular cool Sunday morning. It's very much a cafe society, so the cafes are all open and, and full. A lot of people from Lviv have left. They've gone to Poland, if they possibly can, uh, for safety. Many others, many thousands of others have either come through the city or have come to the city for refuge from Kharkiv and from Kyiv, from those uh, cities that are now being pounded in the eastern part of the country. The worry here, uh, and that's why you see these statue, statues being wrapped up in sandbags, is that um, eventually the Russians are going to come in this direction. They've been very preoccupied with trying to take over the eastern part of Ukraine, but at some point they may turn their attention in this direction. And that's because all of the supplies, the munitions, the javelin missiles, the anti-tank missiles that are coming from Canada, from the United States, from Western Europe are all going into Poland and then will be brought in mostly likely by trucks uh, towards the east. And at some point the Russians may decide that they have to stop and block that supply line in order to maintain their gains in eastern Ukraine. And that's very much the concern and the worry here. One more picture of another statue that's been wrapped up. Uh, again, the fear is that this city will um, eventually come under attack if the Russians turn their attention to the western part of the country. Paul Workman, CTV News, in Lviv in western Ukraine.